Farhang Mare, Wikipedia Audio Farhang Mare was an Iranian-born American Zoroastrian scholar and politician born in Iran on December 11, 1923, and died on March 4, 2018. Mare was born to a Zoroastrian family in Tehran, Iran. His father, Muraban Mare, was from the province of Kerman, and at the age of 14 migrated to Tehran for greater economic and social opportunities. He went on to become chief accountant in the Majlis Shoray Meli Parliament, predecessor of the Islamic Consultative Assembly. His mother, Paradoct, was a granddaughter of Kajay Bark Hordar, a Zoroastrian Yazdi immigrant to Tehran, who served as one of the farm managers of Nazar Aldin Shah Qajar. Farhang was raised as a devout Zoroastrian and a patriotic Iranian. Upon graduating from the Polytechnic with a degree in mechanical engineering, he joined Tehran University and obtained a bachelor's degree from the School of Law, Economics, and Political Science. Then he went to England, where he received an LLM from London School of Economics, University of London, and a PhD from University of Southampton. In 1975 he was awarded LLD by the University of Pennsylvania. Background Returning to Tehran in 1957, Dr. Mare joined the National Iranian Oil Company as head of the Department of International Contracts and Industrial Relations. In this period, he also served as advisor to the Minister of Commerce. Subsequently, at the invitation of the Minister of Finance, Dr. Mare moved to that ministry where he consecutively held the following positions. Director General of Oil and International Relations, Governor for Iran in OPEC, Director General of Economic Affairs and Monopolies, Deputy Minister in Charge of Finance and Economic Affairs. He was then nominated by the Prime Minister to serve as the Minister of Finance. However, he could not become a minister under Iran's constitutional law which preserved the ministerial posts for Muslims only. Thus, he became general deputy minister. During the premiership of Amir Abbas Hovida, Mare served as acting minister for several months. Mare then resigned to register his opposition to the relevant discriminatory provision in the constitutional law. Prime Minister Hovidar responded by offering Dr. Mare the position of Deputy Prime Minister with all the privileges of a minister except the title. To continue to demonstrate his opposition to the laws affecting non-Muslims, after a few months of serving in that position Mare resigned with publicity. He then assumed the position of Chairman of the Board and Executive Director of the largest insurance company in Iran. Bimeya Iran. In this position he created a new regulatory agency for insurance, called the Central Insurance Company. He also initiated the insurance pools within the framework of the Regional Corporation for Development, as well as the College of Insurance for Training of Insurance Staff among Iran, Turkey, and Pakistan. The building of the famous Shah Abbas Hotel in Isfahan was during Dr. Mare's presidency in Baymeya, Iran. During this time, he continued to serve as Iranian governor for OPEC. In addition to his governmental positions, Dr. Mare was also teaching at Iran's Military Academy, Tehran University, National University of Iran, College of Accounting and College of Insurance. He served on the board of trustees of several universities and colleges. Farhang Mare's last position in Iran, prior to the Islamic Revolution of 1979, was president of Pahlavi University in Shiraz. During his presidency, the university became internationally known for its academic excellence and for instituting innovative policies that were later adopted by other developing countries. 
In 1973, the International Health Organization chose Pallavi University as the center for giving on-the-job training courses to the faculties of the medical schools the South Mediterranean countries. In recognition of his valuable services Dr. Mare was the first and only non-Muslim Iranian decorated with first rank Homayun medallion and second rank Taj medallion. In 1981, two years after the establishment of the Revolutionary Islamic Republic of Iran, Farhang Mare immigrated to the United States. There he joined Boston University as Professor of International Relations at what is now the Pardee School of Global Studies. In 1982 on Nowruz Dr. Mare served as recipient of a certificate in appreciation for the contribution of Iranians to life in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts from Governor Michael Dukakis. He retired in 1997 as Professor Emeritus. Mare has been very active in the Zoroastrian communities worldwide. In his youth he, organized Sazmani Javanani Zartoshti, with the goal of fostering unity and awareness amongst Zoroastrian youth, particularly in their struggle to obtain more rights in Iran. In 1949, Mayor was elected to Anjumani Zartoshti in Tehran as its youngest member. Having left for England in 1950, he joined the Zoroastrian Association of Europe in London and continued to regularly contribute articles to the Zoroastrian monthly journal Hukt, published in Tehran. On his return to Iran in 1957 Dr. Mer again assumed an active role in the Zoroastrian community and was elected chairman of the Tehrani Zoroastrian Anjuman, a position he held until the Islamic Revolution of 1979. He was a founder of the Ancient Iranian Cultural Society. Dr. Mare has attended all World Zoroastrian Congress ES since their inception in 1960 in Iran. He is a founder of the World Zoroastrian Organization. Professor Mare has traveled extensively and given lectures in America, Canada, Europe, Australia, the Soviet Union and China. He has published 12 books in Persian and English on industrial law, social insurance, religion, and international relations, including the Zoroastrian tradition and a colonial legacy along with 80 articles in professional journals. In addition to his publications, he has given numerous television and radio interviews in several countries. Mare was married to Parakar Naduri and has three children. Murdered, Mehran, and Mitra. Education A biography of his life, Triumph Over Discrimination, The Life Story of Farhang Mare by Lila M. Alphonse, was published in December 2000. Early Career Higher Civil Service Private Enterprise Pallavi University Exile Zoroastrian Activism Career in Exile Personal Life